And snap, bubble screen, right side, caught, Travis, running up the sideline, there he goes, running at the 10, at the 5, end zone, touchdown! Well, Shadur Sanders connected with Travis Hunter twice in this ball game. Travis went over 100 yards, but the Buffalo still fell 37-21 to 21 as they lose on the road against the Kansas Jayhawks. Hi, everybody. Voice of the Boss, Mark Johnson, Coach Gary Barnett. After this one, Colorado never quite found its rhythm in this ball game, did it? it no, it... it couldn't play defense. We couldn't stop the run from the very first series mark, which lasted about 12 plays and 14 minutes, it seemed like. But uh, no, we defensively could not handle this football team. They, they do a great job of running the football and give you a lot of different looks and creative offense and creative passing. But in the end, it was the rushing that got us. I mean, they rushed for over 200 yards and uh, Neil had over 200 yards himself. Over 300 yards as a team. Yards total, yeah. So, you know, if you can't stop the run uh, in this league right now, uh, you know, and if you can't run it yourself, and which we couldn't. We had 42 yards. But the worst thing is the possession time, which is an indicator of how much you can run the football. And they could. 300 yards gets you 40 minutes <laughs> of possession time. And we couldn't match that, you know. And we, uh, they played a pretty simple defense on us, dared us to run. We couldn't do it. And so we didn't try that much. We couldn't do it, and they had us in the pass game. So it's just they had us all night. You know, a two-to-one time of possession advantage, 40 minutes of possession time for Kansas in this ball game. They become, by the way, the first team in college football history with a losing record to knock off consecutive three games, top 25 team. Flip it around the other direction. What was KU doing um, defensively that they kind of stymied our offense? You know, they, they really were playing a pretty simple pass defense. They were mixing up inside, bringing five, bringing four, bringing six sometimes, playing zone behind it. And uh, Shadur was scrambling around. Uh, we made a few passes, a few plays. And, you know, he ran a couple times. But if you can't run against that defense, cover two defense, then they're going to own you. And that's just what happened tonight. Yeah, the Buffaloes boy picked a bad time to have a tough ball game. Now they get ready for Oklahoma State coming to town next week. What the postseason is going to look about as we stand here right now. Somebody online said that Kansas has taken a torch to the Big 12 with what they've done the last three weeks. And it's true. We'll wait to see the dust settles to figure out what the postseason implications are going to be. That's Coach Gary Barnett. Up next, our silent reporter, Bobby. Passiveno. Shadur takes his stamp, takes the hand up, steps over the pocket, rifles it down the seam. Leaping crab is made. End zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Colorado. Shadur Sanders with a laser beam to Traylon Miller of 19 yards. Oh, well, you're going from the coach, Gary Barnett, to our silent reporter, former quarterback, Bobby Passiveno. Boy, that thing, it, it never, it seemed like the Buffs were back on their heels the entire game and really never found their mojo, if you will, in this ballgame. Yeah, you know, I think they did, they came out pretty flat, and Kansas was ready to play, and it's, you know, somewhat disappointing knowing what we had in front of us if we just took care of business. Um, but Kansas is a good football team, and they and they got the momentum, and they just never gave it back. I mean, we fought back and fought back, but they were just, uh, they were the better football team tonight, and they, they physically beat us up in the run game, and it just kind of deflated everything. I mean, we're sitting right up there on the ninth floor of the stadium here at, at Arrowhead. Uh, tough to tell. Colorado has been a pretty good tackling team all season long. That, that did not seem to be the case here today. Not at all. I mean, let's give Neil some credit. I mean, he's a good back, and Daniels it can make plays with his feet too. But um, it was just fundamentally not very good on the defensive side of things. I mean, it's not that they weren't in position to make plays. They just flat out weren't making them. Travis did go out and have a 125-yard game, a couple of touchdowns, uh, seven tackles, had a pass breakup. He was out there doing his thing. Yeah, he's you know we all know he's special. Um, you know, wish he could get him the ball more if it was possible. Um, he's that good, but uh, always impressed by what that young man does. And I mean, he almost made a heck of a play on an interception too. That uh, I mean, he's special. So we're lucky we get to watch him play. It's just a shame that. You know, we're praising them in a, in a loss. Now this team and Coach Prime and his staff, they've got to make sure these guys got their heads on strike. you got one big bowl game coming up with Oklahoma State next Friday. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be tough. Oklahoma State's going to score points. and <laughs> I mean, they, they can, they're going to do that. So, we, again, they have an opportunity to take care of business and, and then Saturday kind of watch where the chips fall and if they can find their way in the Big 12 championship. But if they come out flat again like they did tonight, they're going to have a tough time. 40 years ago, or I beg your pardon, back in 2001 on this date, I'm thinking of other, other statistical notes or historical notes. On this date, 2021, 
it was a special day. I can't believe uh, I didn't even think about it until you reminded me that this was the date. But uh, yeah, that was uh, you know a great moment in Colorado history. My career, Coach Barnett's career, was just a special day to think about for sure. Twenty-three years ago, a little gray in that beard now. I know, I'm getting older. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Boy, tough one though. The Buffaloes fall thirty-seven to twenty-one here at Arrowhead Stadium. Boy, if you're a Colorado football fan, it's always tough to come here late in the season. We know the Broncos, tough one here for the Buffaloes today as they fall now sitting at 8-3 and three in the season, 6-2 and two in Big 12 Conference play with Oklahoma State coming to town next Friday, day after Thanksgiving, 10 o'clock kickoff. The Buffs and the Cowboys will hit the air here in the network at 8 o'clock with the Buffalo Stampede pregame show. With Coach Gary Barnett, Bobby Fastiveno, on voice of the boss Mark Johnson. Tough one here at Arrowhead as Colorado falls to the Red Hot Jayhawks.